Crisco behind the back dribble, back door, nice feed to Powell, reverse layup up and in from left to right. Powell banked it in from the right side. They lead 10-2. Crisco back across the timeline, has it left side, drives into the lane, swoops to the right side, scores the layup, got it to spin around and stay down. Driscoll gets to the rack. Bulldogs lead by seven. Kleesner at the free throw line, spins, feeds over Brockling, pick and roll. There's another layup. He rolled right side, got a step on Blitz Bend team, and the Blazers fans come to their feet, leading 19-18. Driscoll just inside the center court line. Brings it right side, five seconds to go. Keel, he's open, right side, fires up the three, got it again! In the closing seconds of the first half, and the Bulldogs lead by six. They close the half on a 10-2 run. MFL Marmack 28, Beckman 22, 10 seconds to go in the quarter. Driscoll, double team, taken away by Gassman. Gassman leads the fast break, drives in, the layup, it is up, it is in. Foul, count the basket. And it's 39-38, Blazers in the lead, and Gassman to the free throw line for a three-point opportunity. Five seconds left in the quarter. Keel has it top of the key, brings it right side, he's left open, jumper from the elbow, 15-footer, nailed it from the right side. He's left-handed, but stepped right into that shot. 2.05 left in the fourth, and the Bulldogs retake the lead. Inbounds, Arns. Double team, by the way, is again uh, there. Uh, Gallagher inbounds to get it to Kleesner, who throws up a half court shot, banks it long, it is no good. Blitzman team gets the rebound, and the Bulldogs have done it to the sub state final. MFL Marmack digs in defensively, and that ended up being about a 30 foot prayer that bounces to the left. And MFL Marmack grinds it out, picking up their 23rd win of the season. They advance to face Lake Mills in what's going to be, once again, the sub-state final Saturday night in Charles City. Bulldogs win it 54-51. What a ball game. The best tourney action is on KCTN.